Well, Pastor Robbie's back in the house. Hey, nice to see you guys. Nice to see you. Yeah. And today we're talking about wisdom. Yeah, there's, Tell a, us. there's a lot of wisdom being shared on the program today. Yeah. And we're going to learn this week. I'm really, really excited to be able to say this. Proverbs chapter 3, we're going to look at six verses in Proverbs chapter 3 where God's Word, the Bible, is going out of its way to show us and to prove to us. And I really, my mission this week is to convince us. Like I want to, sometimes I look at God's Word, I'm like, it's so clear. And it's so clear today that there is nothing that's more valuable than wisdom. Now, when I say that, I think we'd be like, well, what do you mean by that? Or like, you're kind of saying, well, really? Because we don't live that way. But the Bible specifically says, if I look at Proverbs, you know, chapter three, verse 14, for the gain from her, her here is wisdom, is better than silver and her profit better than gold. And you're like, wow, that's amazing. Our world operates on a kind of economic system, value system of what we can see and touch. But the Bible has something different to say. Do we believe that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and wisdom itself, when we have it, puts us on a whole different playing field than those around us because God says it is absolutely, really infinite in value. So for those who have been following Jesus uh, for a long time and we hear that, oh yeah, yeah, I know what we sing exactly. that song. Yeah, exactly. Somebody that uh, maybe doesn't have a relationship with Jesus will go, what are you guys talking about? What's the difference between wisdom and knowledge? Yes. So does wisdom just, okay, I'm worshiping God and this wisdom drops into me and all of a sudden I'm full of wisdom? Yes. Uh, yes. Or is it something that in the relationship. Yeah. How does it how does it look, Rob? Yeah, wisdom biblically defined is really it's it's knowledge rightly applied. So a ton of people have a ton of knowledge and they can be very, very smart. But the Bible defines it is the the wise are those who know how to apply it towards honoring the Lord and seeing Jesus Christ fulfill their lives. That's another great reason to 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 tune in this week. But we're gonna see specifically too, I know I'm filled with wisdom when first of all I want it. I love a verse in Proverbs four. We've addressed this in the program many many months ago, but the beginning of wisdom is this, ready? Get wisdom, okay? <laughs> okay, so wise people know they need wisdom. The foolish people don't even think about it. And specifically this week, I wanna really encourage our viewers to tune in. We're gonna see five Ps that relate to wisdom. I wanna make sure I get them right. Wisdom is the greatest profit, wisdom as in profitable. Mm. Wisdom is so precious. Wisdom brings us prosperity. You gotta figure out what that means. Yeah. Wisdom is the pleasant path and wisdom is the power of life. All from a few verses mm. in Proverbs. And this all starts with a relationship with Jesus. That's, Absolutely. That's the beginning of it all. So if people are like, okay, how do I get there? Yep. It starts today by saying, if you haven't already, yes, I want to have a relationship with Jesus. And then you can start that track. Yes, and I love your reminders, Maggie, because Jesus is the personification of wisdom. The ultimate fulfillment of this is relationship with Christ. As we heard today, again and again and again, the wisdom that fills us, that takes us from darkness to light. Go, Lord, work on our people today. Okay, you want to get wisdom, get your notebook and write down all these Ps yes. and then study them. That's actually what I do. So, I watch yep. the programs back and I take notes because because it is important. I want to have wisdom. I want to operate that way. I want to be effective. And if you've never had that relationship yet with Jesus, we'd always invite you. You want wisdom? Yeah. Call our prayer lines 1-866-273-4444 and begin a relationship with him today. Absolutely. And check out 100huntley.com for uh, more of our episodes. Also check us out on Castle, our new streaming service, as well as we're always here on Yes TV. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Pastor Robbie. Yeah, good to be with you always, guys. Always such a wise man. <laughs> All wise man. See you next time. Watching. <laughs>